How the fuck did I get HDO2s being a broke ass motherfucker? Well, guess what? The quad copter, the quad copter review man of all times, aka PP Prawns, hooked me the fuck up. He was like, yo, I want you to do a review on these twos. I'll send you these twos. If you like them, you send me your HDOs. You keep the twos, bada bing, bada boom, huh? and I'm saying bada booey. So thank you so much to PP Prawns, the quad copter review man of all times. So much for the chance to review these things and check these goggles out. Without you, I literally couldn't do it. Thank you. On to the show. We're gonna open these fat sharks. As always, you get your little fat shark case case here. Fat shark stickers. You know what the stickers look like. Oh, oh, fresh. Hang on, I have to smell this off camera. Oh, oh fresh Chinese plastic. Oh my lord. All right, so inside the little fat sharky case, you get your little fat shark battery, and you get the goggles, and you get your little cleaning lens. The shells look about the same as the HDOs until you get underneath, then you see that you got some options. You have your IPD adjusters right here, which is going to be like side to side where the goggles are going to go. But now they included these uh, diopter, is that what it's called? Whatever, diopter adjusters. So where the IPD ones make the lenses go this way, these ones are going to make it go whoop, whoop, whoop in and out to stab you in the fucking eye or to move away from your fucking eye. They've also, another upgrade to these is they have this fan power button to turn on the fan power because you're not going to be using the stupid balance lead anymore that usually plugs in right... Focus. They usually plugs in right here where you put your phone, your uh, your balance lead from the battery to run the fan. You don't do that anymore. You just plug it all in with the battery. And speaking of the battery, it comes with this battery pack, which is the one that takes the 18650 cells. And I know a lot of the older ones, I don't know if this is the same kind, but we were having problems with them. We're, ha we're having problems with the wiring inside. This shit would get mad loose or something. Even if it was soldered tightly, it just wouldn't work. And we were having to open these up and re-solder the wires back in. Not even new wires, just re-solder them. Who the fuck knows what that was about? God, so they do, God, they do look really nice. Oh, uh, there's another door. I took it off because I was messing with them earlier. All right, now, how about, how about them lenses, huh? Here's one of the major differences between the HDOs and these. These have round. These have round lenses in them. The HDOs, the OGs, have square lenses. And since these have a round lens, you're gonna see a round fucking circle around everything. I'm gonna try these on and see what that's like. So it's like square, the screen is square, but there's this round, there's this round gray circle around the whole outside of the square screen, you know what I'm saying? I mean, having being able to adjust this, God, these are so bright and nice, I can't wait to go fly. I wanna quit talking here any minute. That round thing is weird and they touch my fucking eye. They're touching my eyelashes. Ah, I don't like it. It's, it's touching my eyelashes. Do you, is it just because I have eyelashes? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like that fucking at all. I guess if I had thicker, um, I guess if I had thicker foam maybe on the goggles, it would keep it a little farther away, but these things are just up in my grill, dude. I don't know how much I like that. Like that's for real gonna fucking be bothering me. All right, well, my fuck it, let's go to the field. Here we go, first impressions of the thing. Okay, the screen is real large. My eyelashes are definitely touching. I'm gonna adjust the, I can feel it moving and it's creeping me out. When I go to the side to side, I can feel it fucking moving on my eyelash. Okay, okay, bothering me already. Let's take off. Let's give it a little fly. A little fly fly, see how this bitch does, all right. So the screens are real nice. This is really bright and in your face, man. It's big. It's real, real big seeming like. I'm looking down to see my OSD. I can't read it if I don't look down and look at it. There's a little flip. Uh, can I go through here on these? New gogs, new gogs coming through, bro. Coming through, new gogs. All right, ugh, a little bouncy on that quad, huh? Oh, losing a little video, coming back, all right. Big old bright motherfucking picture, that is for damn sure. Uh, I had seen somebody say the OSD is like wider. It's like brighter, wider, and that is confirmed. That is a brighter, wider OSD right there. I hope nobody's watching this actual flying. You can't see the screen. It is me talking about it, so this is gonna make no sense. I can do whatever I want. Uh, what else about this thing? I don't fucking know. It's a screen. It looks almost like uh, there's like a matrix display. I can see little tiny fucking squares. You know what I'm saying? When you look too close to like an old TV or something, you can see all the squares. I'm getting that. And I don't know if that's my uh, video transmitter or if it's these go the screen of these gags, but a little bit of something going on there. All right, I'm gonna pull it in and land, and we'll do a little more talking. I don't really feel like doing any more talking, but I'm gonna bring it in and land, we'll do a little more talking. All right, 
pretty fucking bright. There's that circle thing though. That is, it looks like you're looking down barrel of a fucking gun into a square or some shit. I'll put a little diagram up right now, try to explain how it looks. But uh, usually I can forget about stuff. It's kind of bothering me. All right, I'm gonna land now. All right, that was first flight, first impressions of these goggles. They look good, the screen is real large and in your face, but for me, I think it's a little too in my face because like I said, the little foam thingies, you can't see because it's dark. The little foam, the little foam thingies by the eye, they touch my eyelashes and when I adjust them, I can feel it. This can probably be very easily solved by getting a thicker foam for the plate right here, or even using these little side wedges and maybe scooting them in so it's farther away. So I'm not gonna say it's a total loss, you can just put some adjustments in. I can just put some adjustments in. Maybe you don't have luxuriously long fucking eyelashes and it doesn't bother you. I happen to be very Italian and I do, all right? So it bothers my fucking eyelashes and I gotta take care of that or it's gonna bother me every time I fucking fly. Uh, PP Prawns, thank you so much for hooking, no, no, not that part. Yep. All right, let's get into some more packs and fucking see if I like these or not. I'm not completely convinced. I like them, but it's bothering my fucking opticals here. My eyeballs and shit. I don't like the round. The round thing over the square? Thing, yeah. You can, can you see it real well? It's, uh, it looks kind of weird. Yeah, size of screens look good. The big screen it's is bright. bright? Yeah. Um, Probably going to cancel my pre-order. Oh, really? So we're, I, I also, so far, I'm like, I'm not too sure on them. Waiting for Fat Shark's sake, that's not everybody's consensus, but all right, enjoy that. It looks okay. good, though. It's good looking screen. I just, I don't know if I can get used to this, uh, this round square thing shit going on. It's actually getting better. I'm actually liking them more now. Oh yeah, maybe we should have waited, we should have waited more than 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I might, I might take that back about canceling my pre-order. Okay, we're one minute. We're one minute in. What are your impressions? They're changing every minute. What are your impressions? That one minute in. I kind of like them now. Do you, are you not noticing the circle square thing anymore? Nah, it's kind of going away. Yeah, these are cool. To find a word, keeping your pre-order. You're still not sure. Uh no, nah, I'm not sure yet. It's not like crazy bigger. It's just brighter to me. The whites are whiter and the blacks are blacker. Subject number two. All right. First stop, initial impression right off the bat. What do you think? Brighter. Brighter. That Ooh. screen. What do you think of the screen itself? Like the size, the OSD, all that. What do you think of the screen? Right now, it's co I, I like it. It's comfortable to me. Um, HDO uh, one esque. Uh, maybe a little bit of an improvement there. How about that little circle over the square? Can you see that? Is that noticeable to you? No. Not at all? You no, until like you pointed it out, I didn't see it. Okay, but now you can see it? Yes. Because it does kind of just go away. I feel like people are forgetting about it. You got any light leak or anything going on? No light leak. Of course, I just wrecked as I said that. We were doing pretty good, though. Yeah. Nice. All right, Very overall, overall thoughts, first impression overall, what do you think of these goggles? You have the HDOs coming from yeah, the HDOs. I, what do you think of HDO2s? I got to be honest with you, uh, my HDOs are not enough of a jump. These aren't enough of a jump up for me to go from HDO to HDO2, which is surprising because I kind of thought I was going to. Um, I like the added visibility with a lighter screen, but I, I don't feel like I'm any more effective of a flyer, at least on this first pack. All right, we're back home now. I flew all like 11 of my packs on those goggles. I had a couple of the homies try them out and everything. I adjusted the shit out of everything and ultimately, Final verdict on my first day with these fat sharks is I'm gonna have to say no dog. It's a no from me dog I really it's hard for me to get past the circle around the square thing in the eyes It's hard for me. It's extremely hard for me to get fact the past that they touch my fucking eyelashes and eyeballs Especially when I adjust the IPD and the diopters it touches it moves my eyelashes and it's fucking freaking me out It's hard for me to focus on flying because they are touching my eyes now Like I said, it's probably easily solved by getting a thicker foam or something like that to keep them farther away from your face my face especially because they're touching my beautiful face maybe that's an easy fix right on but there's still the fucking issue with the circle square thing and I know it doesn't sound like a big deal and I know when you're flying you don't think about it because you're trying not to crash but when you think about it and you look at it that's all you can fucking see and think about that's all I can see and think about anyway and I really really am not into it I think I'm gonna have to just go back to my regular old HDOs 
at this point, this first day of testing, I'm not going to be recommending HDO2s to anybody that has a pair of HDOs already. And if you need diopters, you won't be able to put diopters in these things. You have to rely on the adjustment inside of it. So you won't be able to put any custom ones in if you have an ISU that requires that you have uh, diopters. Maybe if you're coming from box goggles or something and you have $500, sure, get these. The OLED is beautiful, bright ass fucking screen. The OSD is a bright white, the blacks are black. It looks pretty fucking good. But if you already have HDOs or something like that, I definitely would not recommend spending the money on these. Not the $500 anyway. Maybe if you sell your HDOs for $300 and you only have to put like $200 towards these, then it's a pretty good deal. They're not bad goggles. They're really just not for me. I, I really just don't like the way that your eyeballs look through them and that's the main thing in FPV, right? Is the thing you're fucking looking through. That's the F in FPV, right? All right, well, thank you for watching this review video. Thank you so much, PP Browns, for sending me these goggles to check out. And thank you so much, Get FPV, for the incredibly fast shipping so I can do this video. If you liked what you saw and you want to pick yourself up a pair of HDO2s, there's a link in the description. If you have maybe short eyelashes and you don't need diopters or anything, go fucking pick them up. You got an extra 500 bucks you found under the couch, get you some new gogs. They're crazy bright and they look crazy good. If money's an issue, if you're just wondering if you should get these, I wanna say don't get these, man. Get some HDOs or something else because I was having issues with them being right up in my fucking face and that really just, I can't be doing that shit while I'm flying FPV. All right, y'all have a wonderful motherfucking day. Make sure you go to Shop Bot Grinder, buy a t-shirt. Make sure you go to botgrinders.com, get your rolling train, some super sweet shit. Shit and tune in in another day and like one day I'm releasing my AMA Moonsea fucking carnage video. It's gonna be pretty good. All right. I love you. Give me a kiss. Bye. Me dip on the attack fish. I can rock the flock around the clock non-stop as I will tell ya. Tell ya. I know these clouds gon' stay So I moved on the ground where this rain don't break me My conscience is nonsense Contact is bitches Fuck a rap game, man I don't play with my living The promise is God's Offset is vicious Fuck these rap names I can store in they visions Envision I'm living a million wishes You all be dead and I'll be burning pictures Hey, 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 envision I'm about to leave prison Just to wake up with a fast yo bitch Spark Fish, I can rock the flock around the clock non-stop as I will tell ya It's not like crazy bigger, it's just brighter than me.